hello, sir. Oh, hello, kind sir. I just figured I'd stop by over here because you're standing here all by yourself with some uh, badass legal advice. But, uh, mm -hmm. I don't uh, have any issues and all that, but I did want to tell you uh, that I really appreciate all the, all the work that you do around this town. Yeah, certainly, sir. It's uh, part of the public service. And uh, if you do ever come up with any questions or you get in any trouble, my number is usually in the yellow pages, so feel free to give me a call. Well, that would be, uh, that would be great uh, if I knew your name. Well, right there behind me on the sign, name's Alan Crane. Oh, uh, okay. I must have uh, some uh, certain, certain things turned off uh, in my eyes. I gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. Well, here's my number, and uh, you uh, go ahead and text me with your name, and I'll uh, do the same. All right. There you go. There's my card. Oh, muchas gracias. Ellen. Uh, not as... All right. Uh, by the way, uh, do, you, uh, do you need anything uh, at the moment? Do you, uh, you feeling kind of uh, thirsty or anything? Oh, I'm perfectly fine. Thank you, sir. I just ate, actually. All right. I'll, I'll let you, you, yeah, no problem. All right, I'll be uh, just uh, taking a gander over there, and I'll get your uh, digits on my uh, space box in a in a hot minute. Yes, yeah, sir. You uh, go ahead and give me a text with your name, and I'll be sure to save your number. That way, uh, if you do end up needing help, I know it's not a random call. Right, right, right. Got you. All right. See you around. Uh, let's see. Um, so 415. 415, 344. Zero two. Um, hold on. Um, I think it's What was his name? Alan. I would just say lawyer. Uh, or. Yeah, I know. Uh, freaking uh, Abdul's blimp. For you. Oh, what's that? There you go. Oh, did you go metal detecting? Yeah, I figured you know since you're uh, working really hard, that's your one, your number one tool. Yeah, it is. You are correct. And here, how about you take these? Cause uh, 
I just buy them for friends, and you know, shit. Friends usually give you some other gifts, so I can take those. I'm wrecked. Damn. Yep, you enjoy, sir. Damn, be at this on, sir. Mm hmm. You have a good one. All right. Sure, go for some uwu coffee right now. Where is the uwu stand? I need uwu. Then I try to get to the mayor of placentas for a blah. Got the body in the fog with the bond. Then I smash the guts of body made her fall into the water. So I wanna say I'm sorry. Almost killing you by drowning. Hey, always tired. Uh, think I'm like a pipe. Uh, grinding every day. You might find me on the grinder. Hey, what's up, Uli? What's up, Uli? Orale, Kilna! My name is Vice, uh, uh, shit on my face, bitch. It's Young Fierro, yeah, oh, we keep a rhyme, but mine feeling real narrow, yeah, straight out of close, you shake out some Fierro, yeah, my name is Young Fierro, but I read it, put your brain, 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 put Life at Dean World. Yo, Fierro. Life at Dean World. Do it up, dude. It's Young Fierro. And I Dear was Digit. eternally hired to make this song about my boss. Hey. Uncuffed, unhinged, unlike Rami, ain't none of these arms know where to find me, ain't yeah, unstuffed, lucid, unlike Rami, ain't none of these fake against wanna try me, yeah, here's a list of Rami, oh, Rami trivia, he a pussy, he move his lips, is red like labia, then he trains his back by riding a Sibian, that's the only action he gets ever since Olivia, rolled by seven kids, so now he wears a vest, doesn't like the taste of cheese, so thinks he's intolerant, yeah, with the sniper buddy acting like a grinder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You didn't actually think you were gonna get away with this, did you, you motherfucker? What up, Lenny? Make it worth every single penny you spend. In fact, I'll give you even one more present. Vinny puts on a fake New York accent. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah, dude. We're coming. We're coming. Yep, yep, yep. No, uh, we actually. Oh, fuck, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, we're coming. Uh, I actually. We have uh, a, a client as well, but uh, we'll. Wait, we can we can hook you up first, okay? All right. Uh, four four zero. I'm in season. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uli. Yep. Dang, man, did I miss the whole show or what? Oh, it's thank you. No, no, I just yep. some uh, some little little some some. Oh, man, oh so thank long. you, dude. Noel, this is Uli. This is my literal day one, day one OG. Hi, I, I did the lip, I did delivery oh, jobs with this man. I did delivery jobs. Not job delivery jobs. Delivery jobs. Yep. I'm proud of his growth. Look at him now. So yeah, he's a big ten motherfucker. Yeah. This is Noelle. She's my big titty golf GM. Yeah. Damn. Well, it's an honor to meet you. Noelle. Thank you. You too. 
Dave, man, so what's been going down? You need anything? No, I'm. We we are set, man. Like we are doing some fucking. Uh, we're actually going on uh, doing a thing right now. Uh, we're we're starting right. a company. We're starting a company. Here's the commercial. Damn. Ever felt so many eyes on you in the tub? What the hell, King? Ever felt something lingering inside of you? Here, yeah. later. We gotta go, actually. We gotta run. All right. Uh, I'll see you later, man. All right. Bye. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, this is the normal thing. <laughs> man, every time I bump into Mortimer, man, he's does a gig, does a show, and like, gotta go, gotta go, <laughs> man, dude, dude, man, he's popping, man, like all the time. That's why you're so broke. Yeah, I have like 17 kids to pay for. Damn, I bet you, I bet you, I bet you all of them are freaking super pro, like, uh. Freaking esports of gamers too. No, they're dumb. What? Yeah. They just play the video games. Fuck it, losers. Yeah, fucking, fucking idiots. Damn it. It's alright. Where? What do you think that? What do you think they could be good at? Yeah, uh, I don't think anything. God damn it. Yeah, honestly, I think they're gonna. Probably end up working at Burger Shop. Oh damn, that's one of the best jobs in town! Yeah. Yeah, I they can make they could make like 30k a week. Yeah, I guess so. Yep. Uh no. I do that metal metal detecting uh, uh stuff and I make about uh, 10k in a couple hours. Hmm. That's not terrible. Yeah, but it's fun. Is it? Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, I found, I found this uh, freaking uh, badass booster pack. Booster pack? Yep. It has six uh, cards of uh, each. Oh, the, the card packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It, was, it wasn't on a pack. It was like a box. Damn. Did you see that Fort Wheeler? Check out my four wheelers. Damn, that's one of the smoking hottest. Yep, that's one of the smoking as hottest hot wheels I've ever seen in Los Santos. Is that a nice hot wheels smoking hot hot wheels? Yep. Uh, it's, it's an all-terrain vehicle, and it gets me from point A to point B. And, uh, 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 uh I just got a, 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 I got a ticket for driving so fast, because I'm just, you know, I'm kind Damn, of... Damn, you know, man! I'm you're a badass on this... Damn! Yeah. Dude, I bet you're... Dude, you, are you one of them freaking underground uh, racers? No, I've never tried racing, uh... Damn it, you gotta do it! I would call myself more of a stunter, you know what I mean? Just really. Oh, yeah, around, that's right! Doing big tricks, uh, you know, really trying to capture my mm. YouTube because I've been on world tour since I was 17. What? So. You hear this yeah. dude world tours! How are you doing, smiley mask? Crying face? Oh, he's just. Smiley. He's just I sad because yellow, I see yellow uh, faces and I think smiley right away. But uh, yep, you're more crying. Well, you say that if you really paid attention, there's a bullseye on his jacket, and you remember the, the smiley face with the bull with the bullet hole in the middle of his forehead. Yeah. Well, the, I think he's trying to give us a hint. Oh shit! Well, I actually, it, it looks like uh, you've taken a. A, a tile off of the floor at Burger Shot, the main location, because they have those that same symbol. So that's a Burger Shot. All place. right. Do you represent and, and uh, do you represent Burger Shot and all your affairs? No. Are you sponsored by them or something? I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> yep, I guess so. Qu question for everybody that's in this little area here. Hi, you to the city. How hey, hard was it for you to meet it. new people? Um, Sorry, pardon? What? 
I said pretty, hello. Pretty How are you? Oh no, pretty, I was saying odd. what to the person who's asking a question. Hello. When you first moved to the city, how hard was it to meet people and like make oh. friends? Uh, not too bad. I mean. Well, I was a bit nervous, but uh, no more than about uh, 15 minutes. It was a bit yeah, easier. Some friends, pretty. You just have to be friendly and talk to people, you know. Yeah. Some people struggle with that. So what what oh, would you yeah. guys think if somebody like did something, and, like gave away for people, like people new to the city to meet people and potentially make friends? Uh, like a welcome wagon. Uh, I did see some. Someone would always uh, put a text message uh, outside of the apartments and. Uh, if you needed some help, uh, call this number or something like that. See, I'm, I'm thinking about doing an event soon. It's going to be something for, like, new people, or, or not even just new people, people that are struggling. Yeah, yeah, but I, I get it. So, yeah. like me, I don't give a fuck. I'll walk up and talk to anybody. Damn! Even... A great idea, though. Yes, yep! What, you got to get a good jingle. You got to get a good slogan for it. Oh, we've, we've, we're working on that. We're just finalizing the details and all right. it's on Twitter. It'll be coming soon. You do, all right. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. We're just, just kind of judging interest, thinking if people think this is a good mm. oh, oh, I oh, thought it was ready right, right now. No, it's, it won't, it won't be today. It'll, it'll be this week though, I think. All right. Well what, what, done. what, what's your name? My name's Dallas. Dallas Green. All right. I'll, I'll keep a night for that. Dallas Green. Do you, do you play music? No, unfortunately. Shit! Damn it! You know, he's a big time on freaking rock star. Uh, his music's fucking great. Yep. Oh, hey, you shit. know, <laughs> you know one of the greatest. Music, uh, the four wheelers. Yep. You see, he's trying, he's trying to be a trickster on that four wheeler. Yeah, I've been do I'm 71, so I'm trying to get all the the athletic things on my bucket list checked off uh, before I'm too feeble to do it. <laughs> oh, man, you gotta you gotta be taking your vitamins. Oh, I don't, do. Don't, Vitamin don't hurt C, yourself cocaine. too bad. We gotta keep your music going. Oh yeah, for sure. Don't right. worry. I keep my hands pretty uh, uh, lubed up so they're ready for guitar playing and so on. Hell yeah. By the way, one of the greatest spots I've had some of the most epic conversations is that when I go fishing. Oh, I've had some weird conversations fishing. Oh, tell me about it. God damn. <laughs> like the other day where I learned about a lady that's in love with an airplane and she even got a model made of it. Oh my God, what? What? You, do you remember any of it? Could you share it? I, that's about all they said, and then it brought me back to something I heard about this guy that was in love with his car. He had like some shitty like. Oh no! We don't. I mean, like, I could under and kiss it and do oh. other things. Damn! Oh. Like actually in love with his car. It was weird. That's very strange. Uh, well, I'm Hubcap Jones, lead singer of Love Fist. Nice to meet you. Well, I'm Dallas Green. Nice to nice to meet you. I've heard you a few times and always enjoyed it. Thank you right. so much. <laughs> well, since we're doing a little bit of introduction, uh, they call me Ulioint. Ulioint? Yep. Dang, you said it on the first try. I, I had to think about it for a second. Yep. But you know what? All the hot mamacitas here in Los Santos, they've been calling me Uli. What, what's that mean? I don't know. I think it's a bit of a much more uh, easier uh, rolls off the tongue. Oh, okay, okay. What there damn. are a few hot mamacitas in Los Santos. Oh, there? god damn it. Yep. Yep, we're suffering. I've started a business and it's taken off. Oh, you're gonna get the, the, the top, the top mamacitas here then. Oh, I'm getting the top mamacitas. You yeah, the, the highest high. What the, uh... I'm the, ta I'm the talking body pillow. Damn! What? what did I think about that? You know, you're feeling lonely, you had a bad day, you know, just call up Dallas Green. And... Yeah, but you're all let, set. let me tell you a little, uh, low down the secret. There's a badass motherfucker standing right here with us right now that gets all the hot babes. Do you get all the, uh, do you get all the hot babes? No, did you see this gentleman right here? I, I know. I bet he does get all. Yeah, this is a oh, this is easy. Uh, I think it's uh, easy. He's one of the baddest rappers in Los Santos. I get, I get a couple of babes. 
because I'm sexy as fuck. I just, I just performed my shirt off. That's the, that's the key. Oh, you did it! I might, I might try that. I'm gonna have to go shirtless one day. Yeah, yo. Damn. Yeah. Especially when Magdalena's around. <laughs> oh, yeah. I fucking love Magdalena. No, she's, she's different. Yep. She just, she just told me straight up that if I don't wear my fucking t-shirt and she looks at my, my tattoos and muscles, she just wants to ravage my body. Damn! Oh, I'm going to take my shirt off. You guys have a good day. <laughs> Damn! I mean, that's what she said, man. Damn. Well, I guess I'm going to go back to my uh, metal detecting adventures. On fours, is there fucking six of them? Yeah, they were. Okay, should I get something to? I wanted to give the police officers some some fries, but I got caught up in like a whole bunch of cool conversations. Was that part of one of the tricks? Yeah, it was. Did you like it? Hell yeah! Did you hear me laughing when you ran into me? Oh, maybe not. God damn it! Yeah, man, I think you're one of the greatest uh, four-wheeler drivers in town. Oh, really? In the whole city? No, I, yeah, but I, I got it. But my opinions are pretty dead, uh, dead on. Damn! Dude! I'm gonna show her uh, lost for wood. Peanut, what's up, buddy? Damn, man, that what's leather been that leather been jacket is fucking badass! How you doing? What's going on? Hey, not bad, no, not bad. Why don't you get an ATV? How about this, uh, two days ago? It's a fucking Damn. street blazer, it's street legal. Yeah, it's usually street legal. Yeah, it's 100 percent street legal. Wait a minute. Oh, Wait, it's got a plate on it? Let me check it out. Yeah, it does. Oh, oh damn! Uh, Fifty-one thousand three hundred, including tax. You know what? It might not be some bad for the hood. I might grab it. It's there. actually re it goes. It, the, I can't even express how okay, fucking fast this thing handles. Around. Yeah, I'm gonna die on it. Damn! Sorry, Jesus Christ! Dude, I'm not, another epic crash! Damn! Sorry. <laughs> wow! Chaos! Watch it. <laughs> Oh no! No, no, you're right! Shit! Damn! Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. What? What? Dude, you gotta put on a show! Should I go uh, do some more metal detecting? What's up, player? Hey, uh, did you get done uh, voting? Sure did. Yep, that's what I'm gonna go do for the first time. Congratulations and good luck. Yep, thank you. Enjoy the process of democracy. Yep. It's very fun. It's very educational. Feels good. Hey, you know what? What? I think I... I think I got something that, uh... Well, I don't know what to do with it, but uh, I'm gonna put it down on the ground. And if you want it, you go ahead and take it, all right? Yeah. There you go, buddy. I know exactly what to do with this. Thank you. That's very. How, what can I give to you? Let me give to you. Oh, what? I don't know. I don't. What? I don't, what? I don't need nothing. 
There you go. I love it. I love exchanges. There you are. Thank you, my friend. Enjoy it. All right. Have fun. All right. And uh, love you long time. Bye bye. Deal. Got some shoes. <laughs> For the first time, I got some shoes. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta go up the pimp, the pimp uh, ramp. Hello. Hello, madam. I love your hat. You get it? Oh, muchas gracias. Well, you did say all licenses, and I guess that's 180,000. I don't quite have that. Sir, did you recommend all licenses to her? No, no, the... Uh, de, de nada, senor. Oh, do you get him back? Yeah, that was a really good uh, Spanish. Ah, did you tell her what she needed to know to get them issued? I... no, I do not believe so. Uh, no. I thought there was a brochure. No, there's no brochure here. However, um, did you, did you, do you know what she needs? Uh, knowledge of the standing ground. Uh, knowledge of what animals not to hunt. And what to fish not to fish. We just finished, uh, fishing. And we were talking here. about, uh, I you do know, have my fishing license at least. Yeah, no, no hunting, no hunting dogs, uh, no, no hunting, uh, uh, farm animals, uh, and no hunting, uh, uh, murder cases. Well. And stay within hunting grounds. Okay, well, which we were at before. Okay, so for the standard ground concept, uh, you can uh, chance on your friend explaining it to you or look in the public record, which is up there to the left. And if you want all three of the main licenses, that's $2,500. All right, thank you, Mr. Lancer. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, standard ground is uh, basically you have the right to defend yourself um, if you have your firearm. Does anyone else in need help at the moment? I'm gonna be running Odessa. If you need anything, give me a holler, okay? Uh, you're going to bed? No, no, no. I'm. I gotta run around and look at a couple of things. I gotta go up north. Okay. So I'll check out a couple of things real quick, and then. Okay. Uh, but if you need anything, give me a holler. Um. Uh, uh, yeah, try not to stay up too late. I'm. Uh, I'll probably be up to the end of the tsunami, and then I will definitely be passed out. Right, right. Well, if you need anything, let me let me know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be up that long. Okay. So. Okay. Be, be good. Be safe. You too. May I help you, sir? Oh, definitely. You know what, uh, Miss Ortesa? Um, this is my first time coming into a city hall to place a vote. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, well, congratulations on doing that. All right, um, appreciate it. The room you want me to show him the way? Sure. All right, follow me, sir. All right. I don't know why. Good. Ah, well, thank you. Let's go over here. Okay. Sorry, I'm very bad at holding doors. Uh, yep. So the booths are right here. All right. So you just uh, walk in through the curtain and uh, flex your E muscle when it uh, shows up on the uh, little prompter thing. And uh, then you'll be able to select your vote for mayor. Damn. Submit, All right. And then you can uh, select as many or uh, up to nine judges to s vote for. And then you'll hit submit again. And then you'll be all done. And you'll get a little sticker that says I vote. Or that you vote. Damn. So, yeah. All right. I appreciate it. Yep, no problem. Have a good one, sir. All right. All right, so I want to pick um, for mayor election, um, Abdul, select one. The next ballot, uh, judge uh, election, um, John Bailey. Um, which one? Alan M. Alfred. Alan M. 
Wait, wait. Ellen Crane, yeah. It's, it's Alan, right? Alan, the lawyer buddy. Um, your ballot uh, has been saved. Thank you for voting. What the fuck? Where'd everybody go? The fuck? There's like a whole mess of people in here now. Howdy. <laughs> Why do you say howdy? When you already took like fucking like five paces past me. <laughs> what the fuck is that all about? But, Mr. Mr. Hilton? Hey there. How you doing, get, sir? Guess what? What's that? I just voted for you right now. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, you know, I never actually got to ask you how what? you pronounce your name. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, there's 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 a fun way and the real name, the real way. Uh, okay, go ahead. Well. Oh, shit. Hold on. Please yep. call in one sec. Hello, it's Alan Crane. Mm-hmm. Hello, madam. I saw him standing in sort of the center area outside of the stalls, um, and I saw him with a gun. Um, but I don't know. Um, uh, I couldn't tell you, like, you know, who said what or anything. I was too far away to hear it. But I do know that he, uh, you know, he was standing in the center because Alfred already told me that he claimed to Alfred that he had a hey, back to the wall or some shit, which don't make no sense because the only people with the back to the Oh, you got 5k? Um, but yeah, I can testify that I literally just like saw him standing out in the open and then I saw him come down. That's about it. I mean, if y'all have a bench trial, I'll be there if you want to call me. You can. <laughs> he said, he said, y'all. I can at least corroborate the fact that uh, y'all. The DOC gave me the same story that uh, he gave. I'm just waiting because the lawyer wants me, he wants me to say my name correctly. Yeah, no worries. I'll text you. All right, bye. Sorry about that, sir. So you, you were saying how to pronounce your name. Yep. You see, the the proper way to pronounce the first and the last name is uh, Ul Yoint. Ul Yoint. Yep. But here. And what's the fun way? Well, you see that the hot mamacitas here in Los Santos. They've been, uh, they've been calling me Uli. Uli Yoint, I see. So you say Uli Yoint, and they've been yep. saying Uli Yoint. I got you. Yep. Well, Uli, uh, you know, I appreciate your vote, and, uh, like I said, if you ever get any, uh, legal questions or anything comes up, you give me a call, okay, sir? Well, uh, the only questions I have so far, so, you, you, uh, you got it right when I, you said I was, a uh, metal detecting, right? Uh-huh. Well, let me let me check my pockets to see if I still got it. What? Well, maybe not. Nope. But anyways, I found uh, like a small scale. Is that uh, illegal to have? 
Uh, show it to me. Let me see it real quick. No, I, I, I put it oh, away. Have it on yet. Yeah, I put um, it away because that was... scale. No, that's not illegal. Um, so those can be used for illegal things. They can also be used for legal practices. So, for example, it is legal to possess uh, small amounts of marijuana, cannabis. Um, you can roll your own cigarette. Oh, right, right. But okay, yeah, because yeah, I you can uh, roll your own cigarettes, so that could be legal. Yes. Hmm. All right, because I I didn't even know how to use it. Uh -oh. I'll be honest with you, I don't smoke cannabis. I would have no idea. Right. Um, but I would ask around. Maybe you could even go to like the farmers market in Polito or the Dean's World Night Market the next time it's. Oh on, and yeah. You could ask people at the uh, the cannabis booth. They might be able to help you. Yep. Yeah. And did you know what? And did if I find out, I'll just go ahead and next time I have some badass small talk with you, I'll share my uh my info with you too. I'd appreciate that. Ula. Yep. Damn, um, it's um, fucking so awesome I to need talk to, to you. Real quick and you go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry to break go go go. Me. Just uh, kind of yeah. <laughs> You've been in uh, been in the city for uh, quite a while now, maybe about uh, two months. And people have been asking me what uh, what are you up to, early? What's your plans? It's a pretty big question. Of course, it uh, means a lot to me. I was supposed to come over here with uh, with my papa. <sighs> yeah, my papa is a big time crime lord. You know, <sighs> there was another time. Long ago, when I was a little chiquito niño, never got to see him actually do it, do all those things. But he would wear these uh, clothes, you know, this attire that I have on right now. And he's gone now. You know, so I write in this journal just to help me figure out what am I going to do in this uh, town. But I think I got it. You know, my papa, he was uh, one of those individuals that would just head to the connections. He could talk to anybody. The lowest of the low. The, the highest of the high. Sometimes I don't get to hear him talking about uh, certain individuals and the goddamn respect that he had out in the streets. Even when the motherfuckers wanted to kill my dad, sometimes I heard, you know, they would yell, but God damn it, man, I want to hurt him. But the fucking respect that I have and all he's done in the, in the city. I have to talk to him and work it out. So when he passed away and I come into the town, come into the town and I have all those qualities of my dad. But I don't have the... I don't, I don't find that anger, I don't, I don't want to do harm to anyone, you know, I feel the sense that people down deep inside, no matter what, if they're the fucking uh, goddamn bottom feeders, fucking high class motherfuckers, they all have it deep down inside, they want to do good, they want to be kind to one another. You know, kind of like, uh, you know, like everyone's a brother and sister, but, you know, you have your highs and your lows and you have your bad tempers and you fucking uh, treat people like really bad sometimes. And you do bad things. But at the end of the day, they just want to... How can I say this? 
They just want attention and they want to be loved. They all do it. They all have the same goal and the same need. And you know what? When I'm out and about in the city, and I talk to people, sometimes they're fucking in a rush and they go out and do things and hustle and bustle and uh, don't have time to talk to me. But uh, I find those little cracks, those little moments, you know, when they're done farming that fucking uh, cash moolah. At the end of the day, what did they do with that moolah? They want to spend time and spend it with their friends. But, uh, you see, they, they don't get it. They don't know that, but I see it. Everybody in this goddamn town, even though they're fucking, they're fucking running around like fucking ants in their pants and trying to do this and trying to do that. Oh my God. If they would just calm down and stop and just talk to somebody. Little do they know that it's all they need. A conversation to release the anger, to share the happiness and the joys and the, you know, to do things with one another, to build the memories. That's all what it is. But they, but they're lost in the money. And I want to solve that. And I've been making notes. I've been note making notes about uh, certain individuals. What can they do? What they know? What they got? Uh, what they? What they're good at? What they're not? And who can I trust? But then again, when it comes to trust, who is loyal to me? then that's when I can think I can do it. Follow in the footsteps of my papa. I have some people in mind. But even those friends that I have that are good friends to me, there is times when they come up to me and uh, it's a, uh, I don't find it offensive and I, I, I don't look at them any different they're always my good buddies but it's because they're lost and they're in a rush so I keep a note of that <sighs> this is going to be hard and a lot of hard work this is something that I'm going to need to work on I'm looking for those individuals I almost never want to never want to leave my side but would truly truly be natural I need it to happen automatically so I can't change my ways and I can't emphasize that I don't want them to go I need to let them be and fly and enjoy life but I need them to realize loyalty and kindness and then once I find these individuals I'm going to organize a network to be the eyes and the ears and I need to take a command of this because I think I'm the only one that could handle this uh, kind of a concept I need to, I want to, to create balance in the city. When somebody is, uh, when someone's uh, taking advantage of uh, someone or a company or a gang is uh, being too powerful and using their privileges and stepping over their grounds, I want to be the individual with my team to, uh, to be the watchers and come about and handle these uh, things. Be a negotiator, be a fixer, be a problem solver. Because with the, my the connections, 
the kindness that has been given to me with the individuals that I know. All I have to do is make a phone call and ask and I totally will receive. I know the criminals and I know that the Department of Justice and I know the Popo. I think I could make it done. I think I can do this. Yep. I know I need to work on this a little bit more, but if I just had one more person by my side, but the trust, the trust would have to be downright amazing. <laughs>